Good morning, you guys. It is two days after Grayson's birthday, and I feel like I am still recovering from um, that party. It was so much work to do everything, all the decorations, all the food prep. It just took a lot out of me. And so yesterday I was just like dead. I had no energy to play with the kids. I felt like I was being a bad mom because Grayson was wanting me to play with him. And I was just like, I had no energy. I was so wiped from that party. Uh, it was great. It turned out awesome. Um, go check out my birthday vlog if you didn't see it. It turned out really awesome, but like, wow, that was a lot of work of what I wanted it to be. And I just don't know if I'm gonna go all out like that like every birthday I mean, obviously I didn't go that all out for his first and second birthday his first birthday I did a little bit his second birthday not so much and then yeah, obviously the third birthday I went crazy and I'm just so glad I don't have kids that have birthdays like Back to back because at least I have like five months now until the next birthday for when Porter turns one I mean my birthday's in June, but I don't have to do a party for that. So wow, that was just a lot of work. It was really fun though. Gray had an awesome time. Um, I think both boys were a little overwhelmed with just like all the people. It's just kids, you know? So, um, but other than that it was great. Gray opened all his presents. It took him like a half hour to open all his presents. I haven't edited his birthday vlog yet, but I'm assuming I'm gonna have to like do like fast forward like video for it because it's gonna be like he just took forever every time he opened a gift he just wanted to play with it or read the book or whatever but it was a really great time he blew out like one candle <laughs> he didn't blow out any of the other ones so hopefully by next year he'll be able to blow out all his candles but it was a great celebration i'm glad it's over i can't believe i have a three-year-old now it just blows my mind um like i said i feel like when they turn three like the whole world just like opens up to them like they can do preschool they can do sports they can do activities like i feel like a lot of stuff is like three and up so i'm super excited we're there we've made it through the terrible twos now it's time for the three major stage. I've heard three is harder than two just because they're more independent and want to do everything on their own, but then they're also like having big emotions and such a tiny body and not being able to like express how they feel. So, which I am already starting to see some of that. Like he does get frustrated very easily and has a hard time expressing himself. Knock on wood. <laughs> how knock on wood. He has not, we've not like experienced like a true tantrum yet. Like a scream, stop everything, drop on the floor, rolling around screaming. Now has he like screamed and started crying all of a sudden? Yes, but he's not like made a scene and like dropped and like rolled on the floor. Now I might be speaking too soon, but we have not experienced that yet. So anyway. It was great, it was a great time, but I'm glad it's over. Um, and now we have a couple weeks and then we're doing another party because we're baptizing Porter. We're gonna have a party here at our house and we're inviting more people to that party, but I am not going that all out for his baptism, no. <laughs> I just, I don't know how moms do it like with lots of kids and like going all out for every birthday. I just, I can't, it's just not me. <laughs> anyway, the reason that I'm vlogging today, I usually try to find a reason to vlog, is I am finally going to get my COVID vaccine so there's a whole drama with it of course it can't just be easy um, obviously I had to wait until it opened up to my age bracket which was the very last bracket to open up and then I basically wanted the Johnson & Johnson vaccine because it's a one dose and I just get it and I'm done and then I don't have to go back and with two kids Anthony's always working I need to find somebody to watch the kids and I don't I didn't want to have to go twice because then I'd have to get a babysitter for two times instead of just one so finally they had this max mass vaccination place here in Columbus and so I signed up to go get the Johnson & Johnson today and of course this morning they came out with an announcement that they're pausing temporarily all Johnson & Johnson vaccines because they found that six people have developed blood clots from the vaccine so of course the day I was supposed to get the vaccine um they paused it if i would have just gone yesterday or last week like i had the chance to get it on saturday but i didn't because i was worried that i would be feeling sick the next day which would be sunday on grace party and i didn't want to feel sick so i pushed it to today tuesday and i should have just done it on saturday but anyway so i got the notification that instead of johnson and johnson they are changing it to pfizer um, I, I don't really care which vaccine, it's just annoying because with Pfizer, of course, you have to go twice. Um, so my mom, 
I drove down um, from Toledo, which is like a two, two and a half hour drive to watch my kids just so I could go get this shot because I'm cheap and I don't want to pay for a babysitter. Um, but it, she volunteered. But I feel bad because now that I'm doing Pfizer, she's going to have to come back again in three weeks. She's fine with it. Otherwise, I would have just waited and hoped that maybe they would approve Johnson & Johnson again, but whatever. So anyway, I'm going to get it today, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, Anthony is supposed to, well, he was supposed to get Johnson & Johnson two days from now on Thursday. Um, so they're, I guess, like the FDA or the CDC or whatever, they're meeting tomorrow to discuss what they want to do with the Johnson & Johnson. Um, maybe there's still hope that he could get it on Thursday. Otherwise, he's, he'll probably just get switched to Pfizer too. So I was kind of worried. I thought maybe I, my appointment would just be canceled outright because they only have a set number of vaccines. And so I thought maybe they wouldn't have enough for everybody who was going to get Johnson & Johnson. But it sounds like they have plenty of Pfizer, so I'm just gonna go and get it. Um, the nice thing about this clinic is you don't get out of your car, it's just a drive-through. So you do everything out of your car, they give you the shot while in the car, and then you just sit in the parking lot in your car. So that's really super nice and convenient. It is a 20 minute drive, um, it's by our fairgrounds, so that's kind of annoying. I mean, my mom's already here. I could have just not gone today and waited to see if Johnson Johnson would get approved again. Um, they said they've given like 7 million doses and only six people have been affected with this blood clot. So it's like super rare. I mean, I take birth control pills and they say you're way more likely to get a blood clot from a birth control pill than these vaccines. But I mean, I get it. They need to make everything safe. So it's just a bummer because now I have to go twice and it's just hard to do that when you have two kids. But um, my mom said she's fine to watch the kids twice so that's just what we're gonna have to do and unfortunately it sounds like Anthony's gonna have to go twice too which it's hard for him because he's gotta work and so he had to take, he's gonna have to take off more time off of work to get these vaccines but it's important, um, just need to get it done. So this was like a super long tangent, but anyway, that's my drama going into this whole vaccine, but um, I'll definitely keep you updated on how it goes. I heard, now that I'm getting the, the two dose one, um, the first dose, I think just your arm hurts and you don't really get any effects. And then it's after you get the second dose, like 12 hours later, some people get effects, some people don't. My mom just got her second dose and she said all she had was like a headache but then like my brother's girlfriend got it and she said she had like flu-like symptoms for like 24 hours. So everybody's different. I have a pretty strong like immune system, a pretty strong body. Like I don't ever puke. I think I've done, I think I've like from what I can remember like recently, the only time I've puked is when I've had like too much alcohol and that was back like in college. Um, so I can't remember the last time I puked, even with like being super nauseous in pregnancy, I don't. And I hardly ever get sick, I really don't. So I'm hoping that that will work in my favor. But anyway, so that's my drama. Let me know down below which vaccine you guys have gotten. Yeah, anyway, so I'm just cleaning while Porter sleeps and then I'll go and get my vaccine. Hey guys, okay, so I'm in my car. I just got the vaccine. It was super fast. Um, never fun to get shots, so it did hurt going in, but at least it's over. I got the Pfizer, so I have to come back in three weeks. So I'll come back on May 4th, but then I'll be done. Um, so I got, they gave me a little sticker. <laughs> And of course the card, I'm not gonna show you guys the card because I guess it's got personal information on it, you're not supposed to show it, so. But I do have the card, I do have to come back, it's over, it was super fast, again, I just sat in my car the whole time, you just drive through, they asked like, am I sick? Am I okay to get vaccines? Am I allergic to anything? And then they just gave it to me. So it was super fast, love it. And now I'm supposed to sit here in the parking lot for 15 minutes and then I can be on my way. So I'm gonna go pick up groceries after this and um, Target's doing their car seat trade-in program. I don't know if I've talked about this on another vlog, but um, yeah, if you bring in an old car seat, it could be a booster seat or anything. It could be expired or non-expired. They'll give you a coupon for 20% off for a new car seat. And Porter is getting so big, he's gonna grow out of his little infant car seat. I'm gonna need a big kid car seat for him like Grayson has. And those are expensive, so any money I can get off of it, I will take. And one of my neighbors actually just said that they had an extra car seat that was like old and expired if anybody wanted it. So I went and picked it up off their porch and now I'm gonna go and get a 20% off coupon. So super nice that my mom was able to watch the kids. And um, Anthony comes in two days and then um, 
we'll come back in three weeks. So super bummer that I had to get Pfizer, but whatever. I guess any vaccine is better than no vaccine. I just, I'm so ready for COVID to be over and to get back to normal life. So, and you know, I'm really hoping that, you know, Anthony and I can travel. Obviously we're traveling for the bachelor and bachelorette parties this summer. So it'd just be good to be vaccinated and not have to worry. I guess there's a lot of strands coming out of the COVID vax of the COVID disease, whatever. And, um, they're more like harmful. So Anyway, I'm just gonna sit here for a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna leave. So super fast, hope you all um, can get the vaccine as easy as I did. Are you playing with the bubbles? So one of the presents Grayson got for his birthday was this leaf blower bubble gun and it makes so many bubbles and it's so easy to turn on and off. There's just like a little switch and Gray can hold it. <laughs> it's super light. Look at all the bubbles, <laughs> and he loves it. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of bubbles. Another toy we got, Gray, was this um, baseball, little tee ball set. So he likes hitting the balls, although he doesn't really understand how to like hit. <laughs> and so he just like karate chops them. And then I just got Porter up from his nap. He's so sleepy, I think he's teething. Yesterday was so hard, he was, up like five times last night just very sad so i don't know either it's a growth spurt or he's teething i don't know well, we're just out here playing anthony mode so our lawn looks so much better we're just playing in the sun it's so nice out today i'm doing good um it's been a couple hours since my um coronavirus shot and um, I'm feeling good um, at first like it hurt going in and my arm really hurt for a while but now it feels fine it feels like I didn't even get anything so we'll see how tonight goes but yeah I'm feeling good yeah. we're going on a Grayson walk going on a Grayson walk cruising all around the block going on a Grayson walk he's just running can you tell we watch TikTok? We're going on a Grayson walk. <laughs> going on a Grayson walk. Cruising all around the block. Going on a Grayson walk. Of course, I have to sing it. Porter's chilling. 